of Wario and Brawl was that if you grab release them, it, it was basically like he got grab released to like anything. Like yeah. to your heart's content. Like it doesn't sound that bad in Smash 4 because like in Smash 4 there's like a bunch of grabs to like guaranteed follow ups within the game. But in Brawl, there wasn't really any of those besides like a few characters. So when you have Wario who's susceptible to that with, against all the cast, essentially, it became the redeeming factor of uh, Wario not being like a really strong character. Now coming into Smash 4, Wario still maintains the aerial mobility, but he also still has the same trouble against swords. Yeah, not very much range on any of his uh, attacks, and if they do have range, they're really, really slow, and uh, the end lag is great. So. Good oh, no. oh no! <laughs> he didn't have a jump, so that was th that was a really good option. Yeah. Getting that very, very early kill on Wario, who is just as heavy as Ike, uh, it means a big deal in this matchup. Mm -hmm. Now, something to note: it's about a. a a little past a minute, Wario does have a half waft. Mm -hmm. Like, waft charges every minute and 50 seconds. Yes. When it goes to a minute, he'll have half waft, which is a lot quicker than uh, full waft, but it has a lot of knockback. Mm -hmm. Oh, good dash attack from Jag. You see Jag playing very, very patiently. Not throwing out any punishable moves, trying to space with his aerials, but Ike is all over him. Yep. And there we saw the full waft is charged. We've got the yellow glow. Yep. Tommy is now aware of it. And now, all right, good jabs. Jag really needs to take the stock. They're about at the same percent, but he's down to stock, which is really bad. Yep. All right, good up throw to the fair. Jag recovering high. Though. Good grab. Another Toss good grab. Him across the stage. <laughs> Tries to go for another pivot grab. Misses that one. Oh, that was a huge whip. Yeah, that was super raw, like too. He was just <laughs> reading that uh, Rio would try to jump in with an aerial. And it didn't work out. Nope. And now, Venera killing off the top. At 170-ish. Very deadly. Especially at 170. <laughs> Convincing but. first game from Rio. <laughs> yep. Wario does have that problem, though. If he's down a stock, you know, you have to land the waft, really. But then you I mean, on <laughs> the second, on the second stock, stock, at yeah. least. For the most part, like, Wario mains would actually save the waft for the second stock because then they'll have rage. And okay, a lot earlier, yeah. Yeah, and then they could get the right setup because at low percent they could get like fastball up there to uh, waft, and if it's at the ledge, it'll be like a uh, false versus reflex at um, MO MOG if I remember. It wasn't played on the main stage, but for anyone that didn't know what happened there, false was up. A full stock, essentially. Like, he was up like 120 something percent. And then he gets touched once near the edge of uh, FD and dies at 30. To uh, up air and air to waft. Dang. Yeah, and Foss went to Twitter pretty salty about it. <laughs> but Lila is the uh, counter. Oh my gosh! Great spacing from Rio with the forward smash. And he gets that pivot forward smash, punishing the bite from Jack. Yep. And once again, Jag is very, very behind. Um, just like the first game, losing his stock really early to a smash attack. He has a lot of ground to recover here. I think the only... Okay, right, now there do it. There you go, he did it. All right. <laughs> like that. The counter pick working out in Jag's favor. Okay, <laughs> so now we're up for glory. Though. He is fighting for glory. Oh, oh no. great catch in the air dodge. Yeah. Alright, recovers high. Doesn't want any of the eruption. Good grab. Okay, breaks the bike up, so now he has his bike back. Great air dodge. 
gets grabbed again, though. Good nice mash out, though. Yeah. Oh, go, go, go oh, no. Oh. He, messed, he messed up his recovery. <laughs> he SD'd. <laughs> he didn't go far enough. <laughs> Dang.